right, all right, all right. I do apologize for that um, little interruption. Um, I am back live and direct. I tell you, man, I was trying to get this thing going and I just had a lot of, I had some little mess up, but I'm so happy and so glad to have you guys and those that have joined and are joining. Listen, it's going to be hot tonight. If you don't, if you like, you can call in at 321-360-7025. 321-360-7025. Father, we thank you tonight. We praise you. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit, O oh Lord. We bind principalities and powers and bind everything that is not like you, God. And Father, I thank you for your divine love. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, for all you can do. I thank you for all that you're doing in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that your word will come forth like fire in the name of Jesus and I give you praise I give you glory in Jesus name we pray amen 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 oh glory to God we just bless God tonight and I do apologize for that interruption but we're gonna get it started and we're gonna do it right on tonight and we're talking about um, the woman from the sea dealing with marine powers dealing with principalities dealing with things that are not of God. And so listen to some tonight. I want you to gear and again, you can call in with your questions. And at the end, I will take prayer requests at 321-360-7025. 361-360-7025. And we're going to talk about this spirit that is ramping, this spirit that is causing so much havoc in our lives and the lives of our loved one. And so we have to make sure that we are educated and understanding. And we can never hear too much of it, you know. Uh, a lot of persons, thank God, there are a lot of persons that are teaching on this. And, you know, the body of Christ is becoming cognizant. And, and a lot of people now are really understanding and uh, really doing teaching on this spirit. Um, so that we can equip the people and the, the people of God. It's vitally important. The Bible says, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. And so we want to be knowledgeable about these powers and these entities that come to try um, to fight us or to stop us. Okay. And so we're talking about the woman from the sea. The woman from the sea. Thank you. Those of you who have been joining me by Facebook live. I'm so, you know, listen, it's been a little rough getting started um, because it's been a while. It's been a while that I've been on, but um, I thank God. I'm looking forward to having some special guests and really, 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 really educating and giving the body of Christ um, some tips and things that are needed. Um, and so we, I was talking about how the marine powers are the strongest in the satanic kingdom. These powers, they come as any power to steal, to kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and life more abundantly. And so we need to understand... Um, the Bible talks about Revelation. Let's look at Revelation, the 17th chapter. Revelation, the 17th chapter, um, and it talks about the whore that sits on many water. And if a spirit, if you have a, 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 a strong man or a stronghold or, or entity or powers that sits on many water, what that means is they have dominion over these kingdoms, over these powers, over these nations. Let's look at it. Revelation 17. And there came out of uh, there came one of the seven angels which had seven veils and talked with me, saying, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw the woman that sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colored, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, and having a cup in her hand, full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her head was rewritten, Mysterious Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, and the abomination of the earth. So this power, <coughs> excuse me, from the marine kingdom, these powers come, they come to pervert, they come to destroy, they come to thwart anything that God is doing, everything that God does, Satan tries to um, try to stop. If we, we want to be honest, sex is one of the things that we don't like to talk about most, and it's one of the things that many people are struggling with. 90% persons struggle with this, with sexual with, with sexual problems, with either masturbation, you know, sexual, um, and all kind of bestiality, homosexuality. 
you know a lot of people struggle we don't talk about it and understand that these things are influenced by that marine power um you know we hear people talk about the incubus the succubus the night demons and all this other stuff but we you need if we want deliverance and in order for us to be free we have to first be honest with ourselves you know we don't want to talk oh you always talking about that well you know we always talking about money if we talk about money is a problem we talk about sex is a problem we got to talk about these things so that you can be educated and you will know how to fight and you would understand how to stand and having done all to stand but to still stand so i want you to understand this is why you know adultery the spirit of osmodius osmodius is also a spirit that comes against marriage that is a part of the marine kingdom and you need to understand that that's why a lot of people marriages are being destroyed these powers come to destroy marriage when god made that covenant with adam and eve that the man shall leave the wife and come in, satan made up in his mind that he was going to do everything to destroy that covenant even with our children god put enmity between the enemy the, and the woman and the woman and her seed understand so satan has been after to destroy that's why Excuse me, there's so many people, children born in out of wedlock because Satan just wants to destroy the covenant. And he knows when he can do that and he can break down the hedges that you give in an opening. There's an opening and he can come in and frustrate. You know, we shouldn't live in deficit and there's no reason for us as children of God to live in deficit. Yes, we are going to go through, but we are going to come out. And a lot of times it's not easy. It's really not easy. But I want us to remember that i want us to remember that it, it's a very important and vitally important not just of the wisdom but understand what god is saying understand so when you know and you see these spirits that are coming at you and trying to destroy your destiny because let me tell you something a lot just as esau sold his birthright for a bowl of soup a lot of people are having blood on the altar and they're selling their birthright giving up their skeptic just for five minutes pleasure so i want you to know how serious the spirit is sometimes just for two minutes pleasure and you nobody else might see you but god sees in only amount of time before exposure comes because god is so loving he's a wonderful god he's really loving but exposure don't come because he do it we expose ourselves because he already established his word and say this is this and that is that if you do this this is what's going to happen if you do that that's what's going to happen so it's really not him it's us really exposing and causing us to get to the place of where judgment comes upon us because of our disobedience so there's a lot of pastors and a lot of leaders and a lot of people and a lot of persons just christian that are struggling and one of the things we struggle with we don't want to talk about people are struggling with drugs people are struggling with sex people are struggling with so many things and and the thing about it is you're living like that you don't want to get before the gate and here um depart from me i know you're not you don't want to get there you want to make sure that you understand um the things of god and understand how to fight and block satan eye and then we can move from there god bless you dr lion the pr um, president the first lady of the united states thank you so much and so i want us to understand the marine spirits and marine witchcraft are deceiving subtle and most unrecogn unrecognizable until it is shown and revealed by the spirit of god so this spirit is really you can't see it you know when i grew up i thought a jezebel spirit and that's a part of the marine kingdom too that's the, the seductive part of the marine kingdom these spirits work together satan have unity in his kingdom people of god we can't have unity but satan kingdom is unified they work together they work together okay they work together and so you need to understand these spirits come together and they work together to come and attack us and so the divided we stand the easy for us to fall that's why satan come against unity because he know unity will destroy his kingdom and weaken his powers against the church and against us against the body against the church which is everyone the fivefold everyone a part of that and so it says here um witchcraft heavily are used and are constantly advanced their method of enchantments and ensnaring stoles now i talk about it in ezekiel i talk about the women how they sew kerchiefs and how they were making um these little pillows to hunt people's soul people are hunting your soul because your soul is a there's a, always a struggle with your soulish realm that's your mind your will your emotion you know paul said i want to do good but he was always present you know i want to just go this way i want to do right today but tomorrow i just might don't want to do right so there's always a struggle every day you get up there's a struggle between your soul and your flesh for your for your salvation every day it's a struggle the struggle is real and but the thing about it is is that we if we feed our spirit man if we get to the place 
place of where we get to and do the things that God has asked us to do. Our fight will not be so great. We will not have such a great struggle. So I need us to understand it's vitally important. So this nasty spirit is all about it causes molestation, it causes rape, it causes so many things. This spirit is in influence a lot of things. What do you think will cause a man to look at a baby, an 18 month old baby and, 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 and feel so good about that baby and that he wants to have sex with that child, that boy or that girl? These are influenced by demonic spirits. So we need to understand and there's no sense in us playing silent and playing sadiddy and no sense in us acting like it's not happening. It's happening. You understand? A lot of it has happened and we've swept it under the rug and there's so many people that are still walking around suffering from that scar from a child because they did not they did not confront it and you know sometimes when you go and tell your mother or your family or grandparents, they tell you it's too fresh or don't tell no one because they don't want uncle or brother or this one go to jail and that's why you have so many people walking around and they are a mess because they have never dressed it and they've never been free their destiny have been robbed their destiny have been in a place uh, been um, um, sabotaged from them before they even started and so these people who are called to be great they are carrying around this big yoke on them and they can barely move because they're carrying this yoke on them that it happened to them from a child they don't want to talk about it taking this guilt this shame that anger the resentment taking it out taking it into the marriage I want you to understand that these spirits they they play such a major role in your life and ministry that you need to understand that it's not just you going and having a five minute. That five minutes can put you in bondage for about 10 to 20 years. I need you to understand that because it cages your soul. It gets in the way of your soul. That's how your soul becomes ensnared and that's how your will and emotion becomes ensnared and that's why a lot of times you can't shake things and sometimes you feel so overwhelmed by things because you allow yourself to be ensnared. The Bible says, and I like what Psalm says, it's like the bird from the snare of the fowler, the snare is broken and my soul is extinct. It's time for us to escape from these snares. It's time for us to escape from these traps and these pitfalls that the enemy has planned for us. And so I want you to understand, more than ever before, America has become the country of gods because there are so many gods here. And, uh, you know, I wanted to go in this little restaurant today. I always wanted, you know, I was like, oh, I love Indian food. They were going to have that, whatever, that, you know, that bread thing with the meat. I forgot what it's called, but... It tastes so good. And I was like, oh my God, Indian restaurant. I said, man, they have a buffet. Oh, I'm going to eat that. They're going to have gold or whatever. When I got in there, there were so many gods in there that my head feel like someone just slapped me in my head. The big God, when you walk in the door, the big God was there. When you walk around, there was another God. On top of the stuff, there was another God. And I was just sitting there and I was about to go. The Lord said, no, I want you to see. And I was looking. And when you look on the roof, the roof looked like a temple. It was beautiful. I mean, the roof is totally different from any roof that I've seen. And let me tell you something. And I, and I, and my head, I, my head, my head was hurting. And I was like, God. And the Lord said that the 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 this place, the uh, this place has become the place of so many gods and so many foreign gods. And the thing about it is, they're all offering up these different sacrifices and releasing so many things into the atmosphere. And it's only when the church rise up, he said, that's why he talked about Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will seek. I will. I will answer the heaven and I, will, and I will heal the land and so the thing about it is he said there's so many spirits released people are confused that's why people trying to figure out should they go here should they do this are they saved are they not saved are they agnostic are they this are they that because there's so many different gods that are working into the atmosphere there's so many gods that are subduing while we are so busy focused on things that are not even important Satan is stalking us with these little problems and they're stalking us um, bickering and beckering against one another they're stalking us to see who's more powerful well if you want to know more powerful then do like elijah did and call everybody and tell them you call on fire and that's let's make one thing and let's call it a you know call it quits from there because there's only one god and one holy spirit and so we need to understand that these powers are they have, have so many people and subdued they have, so many people are subdued because of these powers and so we need to understand that it's vitally important okay so this spirit and i'm going to talk a little bit more 
It says to, so I want to openly, um, the working and the signs of men is how you cast them out. You cast them out, living in security from them, and what to do when they entice you and trap you by them. Marine spirits or water spirits are also called Dagon principalities. Remember, so those of you who say, oh, where is it in the Bible? The, the Philistines worship a god called Dagon, and this god, Dagon, means fish. He was a half man and a half fish god, and we understand that god, and understand that that god was also connected to Baal, Baal who was also called the god of Molech, who was the god that where they offered up their children to, that's where abortion come in, and all these children that are dying, and so mysteriously people are forgetting their children, and leaving them in car, that is unheard of, these are all influenced by God, the more souls, the more blood they get, the more stronger they become, the more they feel like they are winning, the more power, that's how they get their power, I want you to understand, remember everything that God tries to duplicate, every time everything God does, Satan tries to duplicate, but he's no match for God. God is sovereign. So I need us to understand these things. And so understand, remember, and so let's look at these, let's look at these powers. In Job the 26th chapter and the 5th verse, just for those of you that need the Bible, so you can know that these powers are from the sea. Understand that these um, marine powers live in the water. And I want you to understand, remember in, I think it was Psalms, where God said he established it upon the flood. He established the earth. He established it upon the after the war. He he called it out of the sea, and after he remember he destroyed it by flood, and then he established it upon the flood because that's when the eight family came out of the ark, and God began a new covenant. He began to build again. So it says Job twenty six and five. Their their things are formed from under the waters, and the inhabitants thereof. Dead things, dead powers, and witchcraft are formed under the waters, beneath the sea. Form in worms, in other habitation. So we need to understand that dead things are formed under the water. This is Job talking about these things. The, re the, the realm of the marine spirit is where the fetish preach, occultic powers, a lot of satanic worshippers, wealth seekers, or dead persons, or medium or spirits is where they go. Now let me tell you something. I've seen persons who um, do those spiritual baths in the sea for powers and all, and I've seen a lot of persons I have personally experienced where I saw people went by the sea and pray to the sea and pray to these gods. Let me tell you, these things are real and our God is all powerful. We just need to know and have knowledge of these things so that when they come and they try to come up against us, we don't feel like God has left us. We know that these are powers because he gives you the key already. All you got to do is bind and loose. You have power to trample on scorpions and serpents, and it will not harm you. So I want you to know, you have the Jezebel spirit. The Jezebel spirit is dealing with the false prophet. The Jezebel spirit is a spirit from the marine kingdom, a very seductive, manipulating demon, a demon of deception. This spirit is so cunning from the marine kingdom. This spirit, there's a Jezebel spirit that goes in every church, and what they do, they try to take down the man or the woman of God sexually. I'm telling you, because if they see the anointing of God, especially if they're in the prophetic ministry, Ministry. Any ministry that's full of prophetic will have Jezebel. Jezebel will be there because Jezebel won those prophets at her table. She wanted the prophets to only speak what she speak. And that's why Jesus told the church, church of Tyatira that I'm against you because you allowed Jezebel, that prophet, to come in and speak lies to the people. And so we need to understand that this spirit of Jezebel is not only for female, but it also can be used for male. So there's no, there's no, there's no gender when it comes to these spirit. Are you all understanding me? And so I need you to understand this spirit is very, very cunning. A Jezebel spirit will, let me tell you, this spirit will come to you. They'll get to know all information from you and then they'll take you down by the knowledge and information you give them. They wait to take you down. And what they do is a Jezebel, how you know Jezebel in your church? A Jezebel will come in your church and what they will do is they look around for the weaker ones, the ones that are following afar, the Judases, if you may, those ones that are following afar, those ones that are dropping off, that are slacking. They go and make an alliance with them. They befriend those ones. And then all of a sudden, because the Jezebel works in cluster, so all of a sudden now, what the Jezebel do is now they have a group of people and it only works by strength. And a Jezebel, what it uses is use the Ahab spirit. So the Ahab will do the work for the Jezebel. Are you following what I'm saying? And you have this spirit that is now perpetrating through the church and trying to. So now when you give a word uh, and you give a word as a prophet, now you have other persons in the parking lot all over the places given prophet because the Jezebel spirit have them under. And so understand, I've been, I've seen places where you would say, hey, I've, I've seen situations where I would say I was in a church and I was like, okay, we got to pray. And I'm telling everyone to pray and I this person would just walking around going to everyone prophesying and I rebuke them um, excuse me 
She said, I'll never come to your church. I said, I don't care. Because the point of this, that's out of order. You don't just, the service just start. If I say, if the Lord tells us we must stand up and worship, what gives you the right to go from place to place? The Jezebel spirit is a spirit that is totally out of control. It's a vicious, nasty spirit that will destroy your character and will try to take you out. That is also a part of the marine kingdom. They work strategically together. And so I want to talk about this. It says, um... Um, unseen to the naked eyes yet existing with physical sphere. This realm of marine spirit is the realm of importance to the fetish priests, to the, all these worshippers, a lot of people, a lot of pastors I know now the Lord was showing a lot of pastors are going um, especially to Africa, a lot of you are traveling to Africa and what you're doing is you're going and getting these um, powers from the marine kingdom but let me tell you something those powers come back because all they do is take from you, they don't give you nothing, they give you but they take and so you're going and a lot of persons now are going to these African or going to these shrines in Africa and getting powers because a lot of pastors from Africa, you have to be so careful because a lot of them are under the unctions of these God, they are anointed they're operating but they will say some strange incantations and you think it's tongues it's not tongues it's them giving allegiance and praises to their god and you think it and they're smart because they're educated they're educated people they're really smart people they're anointed people and let me tell you something they do a lot of 419 they do a lot of 419 let me tell you something if you go to all those things where you see oh um can you send me some money and somebody died and you send this bank account a lot of those africans do those 419 they get a lot of money because they're very educated people a lot of pastors, and let me tell you something, your day of reckoning is coming because those marine powers are coming to collect from you. And let me tell you something, it's going to be a sad day because God has been warning you and telling you about these powers and telling you because every now and again you have people that but they go into Africa, they ain't going to Africa to no preach because let me tell you something, if you know Reinhard Bonnke and people who really have the anointed and they go to Africa, those powers try to kill you when you get in Africa. But there's a lot of persons that are calling themselves that who are men and women of God because you know it's it's not easy you know and I understand you got to really pray and press and pray and press and you want a big ministry you want to be successful and so a lot of persons go into Africa getting these powers and all they doing is deceiving people people are not being healed people are being demonized they're not being set free from the demons they are being demonized actually and so that's what is happening and, and, and these powers so I want you to know and so you have to be very 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 careful be very very careful that's why the Bible say try the spirit of the spirit and see if it be of God. You have to try the spirit with the spirit and see if it's of God. You cannot just believe any and everything that is being said. That's why it's important to know your word. That's why it's important. And that's why one of the mandate the Lord give me is to teach and equip the body of Christ so people will know. People need to know. They need the knowledge and you need the truth. And we need people who are going to bring it truth. We're going to need people who are going to bring it blunt. Not cutting it and sugarcoating it, but so you can understand and be free whom the sun set free is free indeed in the realm of the spirit in the realm of the spirit there are two divisions there are two classes of marine spirit the conscious marine agents there are people who don't even know that they're marine agents sometimes let me tell you something you can be you can be initiated so easily into these witches cult, uh, cult and don't even know and you're trying to figure out why I feel like this or why is this happening to me all of a sudden sometimes you have to be careful who you go in and sit and have lunch with that is pledging an allegiance sometimes just sitting down there is an, a covenant is you um, <laughs> is you coming in agreement with that person and you don't even understand we like to eat too much and we like to go too much and sometimes we like to listen to too many things we have to be careful you have to be careful you can be initiated so easily and sometimes I see people say, oh, I don't know, my son was so normal. And all of a sudden he walk in the street and he lose his mind. No, he didn't lose his mind. They initiated him and you wasn't paying attention. And understand, he, he wasn't paying attention. Yes, woman of God, a lot of people are going to Africa, but whatever they go going to Africa for, they can get. Because those gods are vicious. You know, there was a time I was doing a deliverance service and what was so crazy about it was I was talking, I called different people up. And there were a couple of people that tell me about the same God, or very popular God, this God called Shango, that they were serving. And these are two different people. And, and they, they can't lie. They don't even know that, you know, this was going on. And so there's a lot of times, these powers, these entities, they're destroying. And let me tell you something, we need to wait for the true power of God. All you got to do is tarry, wait for the Holy, to be baptized and do it, do what you need to do, live a pure and a clean life, live a holy life. Everybody, we make in church like Hollywood. It's not about Hollywood. It's not about 
the numbers. It's about the power and the anointing. When you got the fire and the anointing, nobody could deny that. And it's going to take us getting to the place of going through. Jesus did not go in his ministry until he was in the wilderness, tempted by the devil. And when he was tempted by the devil, let me tell you something. People are doing whatever it takes to be popular. Well, I tell people I'm a slow cooker. I don't care. I don't care who passed me by. I don't care who looking like they're going up the mountain and I'm still down here. I'm going to do it the way God said it, and I'm going to do it because I want to make it. At the end of the day, I want to hear well done. I want to hear well done. I'm not trying to get um, um, to be on TV. I'm not trying. I, I hate cameras. You understand? So it took me a long time to come back on this radio program. So I need you to understand, you need to understand this, that it's not about you getting and you getting yourself all and trying to get promote yourself. Wait on God. Promotion comes from God. When God promotes you, nobody, nobody can say otherwise. Nobody can stop you. When God promotes you, no man can do anything. You understand what I'm saying? You just have to stay the course, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course. That's what's important. So Job 38 and 8 says, Oh, shut up in the sea with the doors when it break forth as if had issued out of the womb. This is talking about the spirit, the sea. The sea has doors that it look like it break forth and is bringing out of the womb. These spirits are manifesting. Now I want to say something to you, and you might have heard this before. Let's talk about, um, and for those of you who need to see the biblical reference to a mermaid, or demonic spirit. Listen, you can call in at 321-360-7025. I would love to hear what you have to say. I don't know everything. I'm teaching what I, what the Lord given me, what I know. And so please feel free. It's Judges 16, 23. It says, Then the Lord of the Philistine gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their God, and to rejoice. For they said, Our God had delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hand. Oh my God, my God, my God. It is not half fish. It is half fish and half man image that some, that delivered Samson to their present hand. Rather, they used Delilah, which was another form of Jezebel, a spirit, a, a seducing spirit. Um, she did What she did was she manipulated and deceived him. And that's how they were able to get it. Let me tell you something. The marine power is working and uses mostly sex as an initiating altar. I'm telling you because I know it. I've been there. God has delivered me from it. And I'm telling you, if you want to hear my story, you can all oh, you can read the story. I, ch I changed the cover of the book. It's just the, my deliverance from Incubus and Succubus. Because let me tell you, that's the way, that is one of the ways that Satan gets a lot of people through sex. And we have to be real with it. We have, if we're struggling with it, be real with it. Ask for prayer. Getting busy, don't stop it because you can, one day you ain't going to be busy. And sometimes, a lot of times, we be busy, 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 busy for the Lord. But that don't work because at the end of Satan is patient. He can sit right there and wait till you at a moment you're not busy. And he strike you with everything that he's been holding for you. Are you hearing me? If you want to call in, it's 321-360-7025. That's 321-360-7025. I know I'm talking a little fast because I'm excited. I'm excited. And first King 11 and 7, and say, Then did King Solomon build a high place for Shemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Amnon, and Molech was, you know, a god that they offered up their children to. And First King 11 and 33, But they have forsaken me and have worshipped Asherah, the goddess of Zidion, Shemesh, the god of the Moabites, Milton, the god of the children of Ammon. Now we know of Asherah. Asherah or Ishtar was called the god, the third god of fertility. And, and you know, and another thing, that's a whole other story. And they, they could do it if they want to do it. You can call me whatever you want to call me. Um, but a lot of churches, again, participating in the Easter bunny and the Easter egg, even though they know the implications of it. Um, we're supposed to be promoting the blood of Jesus. We're supposed to be promoting the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be letting people know that Jesus is alive. He's alive forevermore. He's seated at the right hand of his Father, not telling our children to go find Easter egg. They don't need to find no Easter egg. They need to find Jesus. This generation needs Jesus. This generation needs to be led to the cross, and they need to be taught the word of God. They need to be taught how how to stand. They need to be taught how to be children of integrity. That's what this generation need. They don't need nothing else that is pulling them from the cross. They don't need nothing else that is pulling them. The resurrection time is an awesome time.
trying to win souls. That's the time when you get to share about how Jesus conquered death. He conquered death. How did he conquer death? He rose again. Death could not hold him down. Death could not hold him down. It had no power to hold him down. He was the first key. He is the first fruit of the dead because death had no power over him. And so that's one of the things that we need to do. We need to be very, very careful. Are you all hear me on today? I say they cause the most men and women to defile themselves and also lust after different perversion. Solomon was overcome by the marine spirit. Solomon had how much? Seven of advice and how much concubines? Did that make any sense? I, when you think about it, half of those women didn't even, I don't know what they were doing because there was no way in the world Solomon could have, uh, it probably took years for him to sleep with some of those people. Are you all hearing me on today? He was overcome by that marine power because you know what? He did not listen and he allowed these people who were serving these other gods to get in there. I need you to understand this. And so it says the queen of Sheba was a beautiful and worthy woman, yet still not content. He, she fell, he fell in the snare of her spirit. Marine spirits are enticing. They're seducing. And, and apart from sex, it's an altar of initiation. It also operates through molestation and incestuous working. It's a spirit behind the rise of most hated blood Ill lines of men of God. It is on the rise. Let me tell you something. The tribe God forbade his people to never intermarry were born from this demonic influence. It's spirit that possessed Lot's daughter and led them to sleep with their children. The Moabite tribe was based from this same, from this same slip, them, the children sleeping with their father. So I need you to understand. Understand, remember when, um, when Jezebel, remember when Jezebel, um, the, the prophecy was given that Jezebel would be, um, Okay, let me, let me talk because I'm, I'm preaching. Let me talk. Okay. Remember when the prophecy was given that Jezebel, um, um, she would be thrown from, she would be thrown from the, from the, she would be thrown in the dolls with lick her blood. The Bible says when she heard that um, Jehu and the eunuchs were coming after her, she began to pretty up herself, make herself look beautiful, put on her makeup to be seductive. She was going to try to seduce them. But I like Jehu. Jehu didn't come talking. Jehu didn't have time to talk. Jehu came, and he came with one intention, and that was to get rid of Jezebel. When you see problems are coming your way, don't sit there and magnify the problems. You got to let the devil know exactly where to go and let him know, listen, excuse me, not in this house. We're not doing that. And you need to begin to stand up in the authority and the power that God gives you. Because you can't have, if you have power and no authority, that's not going to work. You need power and you need authority. Are you all hear me on today? And so, um, one of the things I want to talk about is this marine power, um, like never before, we see young girls sleep with old man, we just saw in the news where, my God from Zion, this 70 year old man got a 13 year old pregnant, he didn't even know she was pregnant, she thought she was having um, gas pain or want some kind of pain, come to find this little 13 year old got pregnant by the 70 year old man, what type of spirit is this, you know me, you know how many sexual things that are going on and demons that are things that are happening to our children that we are not talking about, we are just turning a blind eye to or sweeping it under the rug, it's destroying their mind, listen, when any time there's a sexual um, action it deals with the mind, the body and the soul everything becomes a part of that because it messes with your mind you, you got this person in your spirit you become soul tied with this person because that was that um, sex was meant for marriage and doing it outside, what you're doing is you are being intertwined and soul tied with these powers of people that you're not supposed to so understand now whenever, so whenever a child has been molested been raped um, pornography, masturbation, these open the doors for marine spirit to come in. And once they come in, they wreak havoc. I don't care what it is. Now, when you when that door is open, that spirit of incubus and succubus, incubus is the male, succubus is the female. And I have heard persons with my own ear Every time I've do I've been doing deliverance, and if I talk to eight out of ten persons, they have experienced these sexual demons tormenting them in the night. As a matter of fact, mighty woman of God, um, um, Sister White, we were out at a conference, 
and one of the lady talk about it she said every night she can't sleep she's tormented and she is in a, in a, a mature age this has been happening can you imagine how long she's been tormented there are so many people out there that's been tormented and that is still being tormented cannot live a life of peace and you have decided to make that a part of your life that's not so that's not what God is saying in order for you to move and do the things of God deliverance is the children's bread you got to be delivered so in other words you got to stop you know <laughs> listen this is so serious you'll be surprised let me tell you I've heard persons said um, the church men and the things they say to women it, it the things that come out of their mouth I know because I dealt with it the things that come out of the men and the men and women of God mouth it will blow your mind you would you because you look at them and you're thinking like whoa that would never happen but the things that come out of people mouth because of these spirits and these demonic powers that will try to influence them so you have to understand dealing with the spirit of incubus and succubus when a child has lost their innocence it makes them either go to the same sex or they will become very promiscuous you understand what i'm saying and so the either way it brings destroy it comes to the steal to kill and to destroy it's sabotage it what it tells the body the body say okay well um you're only nine but you're doing things that you're not supposed to do right now and it confuses the body so it puts everything out of whack so all that poor child the body is responding differently all the hormones everything is going wild because why now this child has been forced to grow up this child has been forced now this girl or boy has been forced and there are a lot of young men who have been who have gone in prison and come out and you might be upset with your wife wives you might be upset with your husband they have been in prison and they've come and they're not going to tell you that they've been molested you know a man can't tell you that that's his ego that's that's his pride he can't tell you that but there's so many of them that have been molested and they're acting out and you're trying to figure out why are they acting like this i don't understand because something has been taken away from them they, they feel like their manhood has been taken away from them and they no longer feel like a man and they're trying and a lot of times Sometimes you see men going after woman after woman after woman. They're really fighting because they don't want to. They feel that that they're going to the same sex, and so they fight, they fight, they fight, they fight, and so they fight to 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 remain and to tell themselves that you know. But let me tell you, the only way to get rid of those spirit is through deliverance. Jesus did not say, "Hey, he came and his ministry was dealing with deliverance." A part of his ministry is dealing with deliverance. A part of his ministry, now I've heard some people say, oh, oh, Jesus, that ministry was Jesus. That's not for the church. Well, you can say what you want to say. There are people out there. Yes, sir. Guilt and shame. There are people out there that needs to be free. And only how they're free is by the truth. The truth of God's word is going to make them free. So you can say whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. You know, I was talking to someone the other day, and I was talking to him, and he was like, you know, well, I'm bisexual. I said, so let me ask you a question. He was telling me about my belief. I said, well, let me ask you a question. How, how are you going to get upset because this is what I believe? You, 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 you have your belief. I have my belief. So why is it whenever, you know, they call us homophobe um, because they figured, why? Why are we going to be called? Why are we going to be called names? You have your belief and we say we don't believe it. So if you want us to respect your belief, which we, you know, we have a choice. We don't, we're not going to respect it. All we're telling you is the truth. And so they come against you. Oh, they coming at us. Oh, they just know. We love you. It's the sin that God hates. And it's not, it's not that we're magnifying that sin. It's not that we're coming against people who are um, um, having same-sex relationship. It's not that we're coming against you. All we're saying to you simply is, is to let you know, because you are trying to get us to believe something that we know is wrong. You're trying to get us to believe something. You're fighting against us. An alcoholic will tell you they're an alcoholic. Hello. A thief will tell you he's a thief. If, you know, a liar. People are confessing. But you, you know, sometimes you get to the place where you're the only ones trying to convince us that it's okay. And if you feel it's okay and if that's your conviction, you have to stand before God. You, only thing we have to do is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and to pray for you. And when we stand before God, you have to tell it God. Now, you have to, he's the one you got to convince, really. That's the one you got to try to convince. And good luck with that. And so I want us to get to the place. It says the areas of... Therefore, main, main areas the, the spirit manifests in itself, family, tribe, or even nation is by sex. That is sleeping with either an unknown or known man, woman, both, or even men and women in the dreams. A lot of persons have been dealing that. We have a lot of young boys talking about, you know, wet dreams. Those wet dreams, Satan's so slick, Satan's, I'm going to get these boys because they are seed carriers. I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to let them waste these seed. They're not going to. You understand? So he gets in there. Wet dream, that is not normal. That's not That's not a part of our biological makeup. And so the thing about it is you have the wet dreams. 
and you have people having um, them, you know these urge and things because sex is so common but it's one of the subjects we don't want to talk about you know eww, it's yucky no it's a spirit that will keep you down that will destroy your marriage there's too many divorces going on there are too many people separating there are too many things happening there are too many things that is going on for us not to identify and address this we need to understand if you look at small children and you leave them alone they touching one another you know why because that's already in them they were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and they touching because they want to know what that means they want to know what that private part is about they trying to understand what is that i don't understand i need to understand what this part is and, and understand how this works and so you'll have even little children doing this type of stuff so we need to understand it says um it feels like someone is on the top of you and, uh, and I can attest to that a lot of person can attest to that it said it feels like someone is um, uh, uh, on top of you and, and, and that night and you can't see nobody you dream of sleeping with influential men or women or celebrities and it doesn't matter you know the, spa the face of an incubus and succubus could be the face of your ex-husband, it could be the face of your boyfriend, it could be the face of anybody. It could be the face of anybody. It takes on any face, a familiar face, to make you feel like it's okay. It's not okay. It's a spirit. And what it does, it takes your inheritance. It takes your virtue. It takes your joy. It takes your peace. It takes your blessing. It comes in and wreaks havoc. It makes you miserable. You're frustrated at the edge of breakthrough. You can't come or go. Every time things look like it's going on, there's an evil cycle that keeps coming because you know what? They're married to you. Because when, 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 <laughs> how are they married to you? They're married to you because they have legal rights. And as long as they have legal rights, they can take away your stuff. So you know what belongs. You know what you say, what is yours is mine. So if that spiritual husband is married to you, what is yours is his. So he takes it away. And you need to understand, uh, I've dealt with persons who were under the influence of that, of that Marine's husband. And that Marine husband is nothing to play with. Because that Marine husband, um, let me tell you, they fight and they would fight and they would fight. And that Marine spirit would get to the place of where, um, would get to the place of where, um, you, <laughs> that marine spirit will get to a place where it will fight for you as really as its wife. And so now you wonder why your wife's tripping out, why your husband tripping out, because that power will continue. You arguing over things that are so silly, you trying to figure out what is going on. Those powers come in and they come to steal, they come to kill, and they come to destroy. Here's another one. Uncontrollable masturbation, urges, and acts. You have an indication to a masturbate, or even at times you feel thrust into it without the power to suppress it. I have been there. I've been in places where I just wanted to masturbate and I had no power and I did not understand. I reached out for help, I asked for help, but it seems like nobody understood what to do and how to help me. And that's why one of the things that I made it my point, I made it a point. I said, you know what? I might not have no one to help me, no one to understand what I was going through, but other people won't have to go through that. I'm going to learn this and understand this and by the help of God, be able to help people so that they can come to their freedom and their deliverance. Let me tell you, man of God, woman of God, you cannot, there's only so much you can do if you do not, if you do not, <laughs> hey, hey, Simone, God bless you. Whitehead, that is. If you do not get to the place of where you come to an understanding, you are going to get to, you're going to, your life is going to be destroyed. And like I talked about before, sometimes we're waiting to get married, but you're already married in the spirit. Believe it or not, there's this husband on the side of you. And because that husband is on the side of you, nobody's going to marry you because you already married. You already take it up. You already look like you're married. You ever hear, you know, somebody talk to you, say, you sure you don't have nobody, man? You look like you're a beautiful person, like you ain't got nobody. I believe that. Because it looks like you already have that spirit husband on the side of you. And you may not see it, but you already have been married in the spiritual realm. And so you need to understand that these powers... They come to kill, steal, to kill, and destroy. And the Bible talk about this, and I'm almost done. In and and um, Genesis the 30th chapter, verse 9 and 10. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his, and it came to pass when he went unto his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground, lest he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did, which he did, displeases God. Therefore, God slew him. And so that was uh, the masturbation, what he did. He did it. Instead of that, he allowed it to go onto the ground. I want you to understand, pornography is another bad way. This is a very bad and open addiction that leads us to demonic possession. Marine spirits to a person's life. The Bible forbid this. Pornography breeds lust of eyes that simply lead to adultery and fornication of mind. Jesus Christ said, he that looks a man lustfully has already committed adultery. Adultery fly, uh, uh, adultery in his heart. In short, pornography is the biggest altar of marine initiation. There's because by simply lusting, 
one is engaged in the spiritual of sexual act and I want you to understand that because you are lusting you know you know you know it is sometimes you're lusting and but you have to understand that that lust opened the door let me tell you Jesus said the Bible said I wish Jesus said I wish upon all that none perish but all prosper and be in good health as our soul prosper God is hoping for us to that we will find the answers to these problems deal with these problems Mercy, don't have no mercy on the devil. Deal with these problems and allow God to wash us and to cleanse us. There are too many persons, men, women of God, that are going down on the altar of Molech, on the altar of these marine spirits of incubus and succubus. Remember what happened to Lot. Lot, what did Lot do? Lot went in and into the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible said that these men was trying to sleep with the stranger, with the angel. They sent out the daughter and they slept with this girl until she died. These were sick people. They were sick in their head. They were Sodomites. They had turned from the natural way of God and start to do things that were totally out of the will of God. I need you to understand that Satan will pervert your mind. Your mind will be so messed up that the Bible say now what people are calling evil good and good evil. Now what people used to tolerate, now what people never tolerated, they're tolerating now. I want you to understand, but God desires for each and every one of you to be happy and to be blessed. He desires, he has desires marriage for every person on earth. Everybody he desires marriage. We don't have to, but it's his desire for us. But you have to remember, if you've been engaged in any of these things, you need, I, you get on my website, www.sherylandfletcherministries.org or .com. And when you go there, look for those websites dealing with the marine powers. Get yourself free. It's only freedom. Let me tell you, great men and great women of God. We evil is happening because the good people are silenced. God, the anointed people are so busy, captured and caged somewhere, and evil is ramping. But it's time now for the sons of God to arise. It's time now for those of you that have been given the power that God has invested inside of you to arise now. Arise from the bed of affliction. Arise from that bed or, or from those affliction of monetary. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about the things that are around you. Those are distraction. Keep your focus. It's time that the church that we stand up and we decree and declare and we take full authority of what's going on out there and in order to do that listen pastors leaders whoever you are we got to be real with people people are struggling with these sexual spirit they are struggling i don't care if you buy a dildo that's a sin because you got to think about someone and if you're thinking about them you're lusting in your heart and if you're lusting in your heart it's a sin and so you could buy the dildo FedEx could bring it UPS could bring it it is still wrong I need you to understand that that is coming from the natural affection so we need to understand that you know people ask a lot of questions but we need to understand we have the Holy Ghost man oh he is so awesome he's our guide he's our teacher he's our protector and he will show us he will lead us and he will guide us to all truth you know when I saw my kids and I saw the things that they were doing and I saw I said, um, and I saw that uh, one of my daughters was acting promiscuous, and I said, oh, no, sweetie. I began to pray. I said, no. I said, let me tell you how I know, um, how I know um, you have a spirit. I said, because that same spirit I had, and we're not, we're not even, that spirit is not even going to come near you. So I had to begin to see things as it is, and stop pretending that I don't see it, and deal with my children, let them know that I dealt with that, and this is what happened, but we're going to believe God, and, and I prayed, and asked God to pray for my four daughters, and I've, God has covered them, and he's kept them by his special grace. Now, the last one, using enchantments of flesh and marine witchcraft to lure women to man. The marine world of Satan is the biggest marketing of demonic enchantments today by the fashions. You know, more and more and more and more and more and more. More and more and more. People, we are wearing revealing stuff. More and more. It's no more clothes now. People, I mean, you might as well walk, the, people are walking the street now. You might as well just wear no clothes. Because more and more, Satan is um, influencing our young men and young women to wear things that are exposing their genitals, that are exposing things that are causing, and what is it doing? Causing lust, because you know if you look at a man or woman with lust in your heart, you've already sinned. And so the enemy is very crafty and very evil. The enchantments range from visible to invisible objects and witchcraft workings. For example, Jezebel was a daughter of a Zidionan king. The Zidionans, as I pointed out, were connected to the marine spirits by the goddess worship of Asheret. The Zidians had raised a woman called Jezebel, who was much connected to marine spirit through her hidden marine witchcraft. When we talk about Jezebel spirit as a part of the marine spirit, Jezebel was the mother of Horam, and witchcraft was deeply rooted in the marine kingdom. Jezebel, witchcraft, manipulation, control over people. You know, a lot of people... <laughs> 
people now what's happening is um a lot of false prophet a lot of prophets of people those churches that are under witchcraft i've been in a few of those churches where they were totally controlled by witchcraft where the people couldn't call one another where you're not allowed to visit each other's house what kind of foolishness that is you're not allowed to visit each other's house yeah if, if you talk on the phone i can hear you in the spirit god don't show no prophet everything that's the life in the pit of hell and so and if you are stripper jacking then you a witch and you you and the, the bible says suffer witch not to live and i've been in churches where it was where um the people were so under mind control that if they leave the pastors would curse them and they feel that if they come from under that, that cover they'll be cursed that is witchcraft that is not of god you are God's people. No one is supposed to be Lord over God's people. That is complete witchcraft. And so you have a lot of persons that are under those type of ministries where people have them in bondage and they're giving them money and they're doing and they're living in deficit and they're, you know, and what is happening is people are living from a prophecy to prophecy. You know, some of us, some people say they're living from paycheck to pay paycheck. Those churches are people living from prophecy to prophecy. What is happening is all they wait for is another prophecy. They go to church, and that's why when the church is not having a church, they find another church because they need that prophetic word. Like someone needs cocaine, like people need that crack cocaine. They need that prophetic word. That prophetic word gives them an injection, inspires them, and it wears away because they have no substance. There's no, they have no relationship, no intimacy with God. It's time up for that now. God's people need to be free. God's people need to know who He is. God's people need to understand. God's people need to be set free. Lord God Jehovah, the children were in bondage and the children of Eden. In Egypt, and God sent Moses to set them free. Listen here, there are going to be some spiritual Moses that is rising up to set God's people free because they're in too much bondage and they need to understand. And so that's what it is. There are so many bondage, and they're lying and they're telling people what they want to hear. And people are giving and giving and giving. I hear people all the time on our prayer line, you know, and I give it and I do it and I do it. A lot of times I just can't say what I need to say because I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to cause any friction because they, they're not they're not a part of my church. So I just, you know, I just, only I can do is pray for them. So I need you to understand. They go to these churches where they're witchcraft, but you can't visit nobody. You can't visit nobody else's church. Or oh, you're supposed to let nobody touch you or nobody put their hands on you. That is witchcraft. And that is from the spirit of Jezebel. You need to be careful if you're under churches like that. Listen to me. I'm the type of person, I, if people have to be dependent on me, I, I'll have a problem. I'll give you an attitude. I love people, I love, I'll teach you, and I love for you to go out and just take it to a levels and do what God has called you to do. And so we need to understand, it says in 2 Kings 9 and 22, and I'm, I've gone over my time, and it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu, that he said, it is peace, Jehu, and he answered, what peace, so long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcraft are so many, there is no peace. Jehu, under the anointing of the power of the Spirit, understand behind the fleshly veil of Jezebel, lie a monstrous marine agency of witchcraft. What was Jezebel's marine witchcraft that had so many people to fall into his prey? And when Jehu, when Jehu, and when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it. Remember, I tell you earlier, and she painted her face and tied her hair and looked out at the window. So she was trying to seduce Jehu. But Jehu wasn't even seeing that. Jehu, so when you come, you can't, see, you have to stop, you have to stop trying to talk to people that you know demonically possessed. You can't play with demons. You can't put pet snakes. You got to cast them out. You got to deal with those powers that are confronting you right away. And so I want you to know, so she's painting her face, tying her hair, um, simply putting the trilation, her eyeliner, fixing her hair, leaning out the window. According to prophetic anointing upon Jehu, the man Jehu knew that this was a form of witchcraft enticement. Another scripture that confirmed this is hidden in the wisdom of Solomon. Look at the book of Proverbs. Look at Proverbs 6 and 25. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with thine eyelids. And so we need to understand right here. So these powers, these marine powers, they would oppress you. They would come and take away from you. They would destroy you. And you know what they do? They go from generation to generation to generation. They stay in your generation. And they torment. So after you've gone home, they're still there tormenting your children and your children's children. So what we need to do is put an end to all of this right now. Eradicate it. Tear it from our bloodline. And allow us and allow our bloodline, our children, our children's children to be free by the power in the blood of Jesus. Now, I want to say this to you. Don't forget. And I want to say again. I want to say this again to you pastors, you leaders, whoever you are. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a leader. But whoever you are and you have been going to Africa to get your powers, it's only a matter of time before you expose. 
It's only a matter of time because God's people, God loved his people. And, and if we're putting his people in bondages, it hurts him. And it's only a matter of time before he sets his people free. It's only a matter of time before the scale is removed of their eyes. It's only a matter of time. So I am saying to you with the love of God to repent, stop, turn away from those things and do the will of God and come to God and do things the right way according to the power of the Holy Ghost. There are so many people that are hurting. There are so many people that are struggling and being destroyed. And there's so many people that are walking in deficit and so many people wanting to give up. So many people right now committing suicide, contemplating suicide. So many people feel like God don't care because they don't simply understand. But I want to let you know tonight that we came, this freedom broadcast comes to bring the truth. And it's the truth that's going to make you free. And it doesn't matter because God people needs to be free. And I want you to know tonight that no matter what, God will set you free and he loves you. If you do not know the Lord tonight as your personal savior, that's the first step in your freedom in getting the deliverance is giving your life to Christ. I want to invite you to get to know God. If you backslid, get to know him. Get back with him because he married to the backslider. He did not divorce. You don't believe in divorcing. He don't believe in cheating. He stays faithful and loyal to you even though you went away from him. I want you to understand this. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that I'm a sinner in need of your grace. I repent of all my sins. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior from this day forward. Say, Jesus, teach me to follow Teach me to follow. Holy Spirit, teach me to follow Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Listen, if you've said this prayer, you listen to the recording, however you hear this, you need um, tools and you need some resources, I am more than happy to help you. You are now a spiritual baby and I want to make sure that you understand this walk with God because Satan is a tricky trickster and he do not like to lose a soldier. He don't like to lose people. So he will try to come after you to discourage you, but I need to teach you so you can understand the tactics. I need to give you some milk, change your pompous a few times and then slap you upside the head and you gotta go because I ain't changing pompous forever. And so you need to understand there's, you need that initial teaching and you need that initial um, foundation. So when you get that initial teaching, that initial foundation, you understand how to stand. We are an army rising up. There are people out there that love the Lord, and not everyone is not everyone is doing things that are not of God. There are people out there that love the Lord that want you to hear the truth. There are churches out there that is after the things of God. Yes, they might not be flourishing. They might not even look like the other ones, but they got the power and the anointing of God. And so tonight, I thank you for joining me. It's been so good. It feels so good to be back. We will be back next week. I have some awesome topics, I'm telling you, and me giving the naked, the raw truth so that God's people can be free. If you want to call in for a prayer request or you have something to say, you can call him at 321-360-7025. That's 321-360-7025. We're calling. You can take your prayer request or you can call in and you can add um, some words of encouragement or whatever you need to do on this broadcast. But we are out of time. And I thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being a part. I am so grateful to each and every one of you on Facebook, uh, by Spreaker, by YouTube, by whichever way you're listening tonight. God bless you and may God keep you. Join me again for the Freedom Ready broadcast every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Right here, same time, same place, same radio station. God bless you.